The exhibit on your right is a faithful reconstruction of the midship section of the U.S. Brig Lawrence, Oliver Hazard Perry's original flagship at the Battle of Lake Erie. This unprecedented exhibit shows us the destructive effect of real cannonballs or shot on wooden ships during the age of fighting sail. As you can see, when the shot strikes the exterior of the ship, they make a neat entry hole, but the exit wound is much larger and is accompanied by a deadly hail of splinters. It was those splinters that wreaked the great majority of damage to the men standing behind the bulwarks. During the 1998 live firing to create this exhibit, one shot struck the iron chain plate on the outside of the hull, then passed through the bulwark, which is 15 inches thick. The shot and the pieces of iron were found 30 feet behind the ship. Since these chain plates support the shrouds, which in turn support the mass, this shot would have caused serious damage to the ship's rigging. The day would have begun with a seven-man crew on each gun. With the severe damage inflicted on the ship and crew by this point of the battle, crews were comprised of whoever was still standing, including one Marine in this exhibit. We can only imagine the horrific carnage on the deck of the Lawrence at this point of the battle. By this time, Perry had transferred to the Brig Niagara, and 80% of the Lawrence's crew had become casualties.